I started as a massage therapist four years ago. I grew up playing sports and I actually played collegiate baseball and I developed lots of injuries that I decided to play through which may not have been the best idea at that time. Uh, originally I'm a physical therapist but I couldn't find myself on the classical work of a physical therapy. Like Murray, I found rolfing through an injury. Um, well one was a surgery and then um, you know not so great recovery from that and then the rolfing really helped. Actually I joined um, alternative healthcare class and I noticed how much I enjoyed um, this deep fascia work and the class was conducted by a Rolfer. I thought I was going to find this dream job, you know, and I, I tried a lot of things. And, and I always wanted to do more than just like make people comfortable. I wanted to help them find what it is that's uh, making them uncomfortable. You know, rolfing was actually the only thing that helped me and I wanted to help people myself. And then I found the rolfing, the whole holistic approach, um, complete what I could offer to my clients to, for them to be able to move in a better way. And it just happened to be at a time that I was also trying to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life because it definitely wasn't going to be desk work. And I also missed the, the kind of income I had from when I, when I was doing business and stuff. Yeah. And I felt like this could kind of allow me to have the free time that I want, allow me to work with people one-on-one, -on -one, which I really like doing, um, and allow me to have time to do the things that I like to do. When I went to the website, I was trying to decide what school to go to. This one, to me, seemed like it had um, the most history that it was uh, the most grounded and also that it had the widest um, breadth of application, not only practice, but also uh, connected to the research community. You are exposed to so many different teachers and so many different perspectives. Although there, there is the framework that is consistent mm -hmm. throughout, you, you get a real um, breadth and depth <laughs> um, of perspective. I really like the way we approach the information from lots of different angles. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, we, would, we, would, we would study the anatomy out of a book, but then we would do an experiential where we'd feel it in our bodies, and we'd mm -hmm. do a palpation. And we remember we'd build the bones, clay, yeah, yeah, clay. Yeah. and we'd, we'd, we'd build clay. muscles out of gauze muscles on the skeletons. The skeletons. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. And the, you, you learn, you know, in more of a linear sort of way, or you mm -hmm. learned kinesthetically, or you learned visually. There was something for every yeah. single learning style, which was really. Yeah. Nice yeah. that, I mean, a lot of schools speak about hitting every person's learning style, but they don't really yeah. do it. Right. right. They really do it here. Yeah. Right. And whatever our interests are, you know, there's there's space for all of that. I totally agree. It was really and Several great. of us here had, were together in phase one and had an amazing teacher who yeah. knew right when to shift gears. Mm -hmm. He could yeah. tell when we were cooked yep. Yep. and when we were ready for more. And he was able yeah, to just shift good. it and, and change it for what we, he could measure our, our layer of it. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Yeah. I mean, we had the 10 series before, but learning it at the same time as well, like to give it and to, to receive at the same time really helped to understand yeah. what was going on. Like I liked the 10 series when my Rolfer did with it did it with me at home, but it's not the same like level that we get and we're like, oh this is what's happening. It was I said in phase two and I still stand by it. like it you confront your stuff in phase two. Whatever you've got, like it's gonna be there and you're like and then you have to deal with it and how you deal with it and whether you're gonna be able to move on or not. But you, there's no hiding from yourself anymore, not in phase two. <laughs> it's, it's there. There seem to be shifts going on for everybody. Everybody yeah. had their days of not being happy or yeah. being really happy or just feeling like, wow, I get that. Now I, j I saw that, that thing that I didn't understand last phase or even yesterday. It's like, mm -hmm. there it is. I can feel it. It's in me now. I found myself having to look at a lot of things um, that were hard and um, and at the same time that the container kind of created that environment um, it also supported it and made space to work through it 
it's a space where I can, I can bring that, I can be myself, and it's actually required. Yeah. That you have to go to those places in order to do this work. And so for me, it's, it's great. It's a huge letdown. I mean, letdown in that I get to let down. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good letdown. It's a good letdown. <laughs> check your ego at the door and you need to come in here and get to work and you know and then you're going to be supported through you know learning the 10 series. It gives you the opportunity to be adaptable and on and just like deal with whatever just manage the negotiate whatever situation you're with and know that you're gonna get through it and that's just a moment going to make it through and you'll get to the other side and then there's going to be another moment and we're going to adapt to that. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed working with clients, you know, and it's just like the real world is yeah. what you're going to receive, you don't know, so you have to be adaptable for that and um, not only working with them and finding different ways to approach them, but with yourself as well as a practitioner, what do you have to work on? So that was huge, you know, and it's just like, like you said, checking your ego at the door and really stepping into that practitioner role and, and realizing um, what you need to do to become the best practitioner of your ability, so that, that was great. They still teach you that you have to have your own body healthy and on a good way to be able to perform better and not only it influences you, but how your work is done on the client. I remember, I think it was a session two and I was trying to think of a, a, a strategy because I knew my client had, uh, just, you know, for, just for the session, but she had lower back pain. And I was like, I can free her ankles and that can help her back pain. And I didn't cure anything. And afterwards, you know, I was like, how do you feel? And she's like, my back pain's gone. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing and I feel like I do so little work now and you know I could just feel into the body and be like I don't have to work here and, and my session could be totally different from one side than the other because I really feel where their body's at and, and I can work with that and, and know what to do with it to get the results that I want and it's like we're coming to an end and it's like there was times that I felt like really rushed and I was like God I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out how am I going to actually make it through phase three but here we are, and I feel good, <laughs> and I'm ready to go out into the world, and I feel like, looking back, like I just, in some ways, got a dose of reality before I actually have to confront reality. <laughs> Like you see people in a different way after you come here. I see the world in a different way. Like for the rest of our lives, we have one, a career that's going to keep us entertained, um, busy, excited, and two, a wonderful network and community which we now belong so that we've got the resources all the time. Like I feel like I can reach out to any one of you anytime if I need to and you know, and vice versa. Like I'm always here. Come up to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> There's a million reasons um, that people will come up with as to why they can't make this happen, and yet all of us have, and it wasn't easy. Just be prepared for a challenge, you know, because yeah. it's, not, it's, uh, it's not always rainbows and lollipops over here. So it's mentally, physically, spiritually, it's definitely emotionally been, been the most difficult year of my life, and I'm so humbled by the experience at this point and just appreciative of all you guys and um, yeah it just makes you feel great to have gone through that process and and be able to give back you know I think that's ultimately what it's all about mm -hmm. is is giving this work back to people and, and educating others so it's it's great yeah but be prepared <laughs> yeah. I went to the bathroom I was looking in the mirror and I was just like wow I'm so much more comfortable with myself now yeah wow. Wow. That is so yeah. Cool, wow yeah I don't think I've ever felt so grounded, good, ready, in the right place as I have like now finishing this. Like it's this is where, where I'm supposed to be. And it's a great feeling.